Hello students, welcome to Modern Group of Education. So today we will try to find uh, the hybridization and geometry of certain covalent compounds. So be with me and uh, uh, teach yourself through the process how to find out the hybridization and geometry. Okay, these type of questions come in various chapters like chemical bonding and also in P block these type of questions are included. So these are very important topics. So you have to know how to find out the hybridization and geometry. Okay, for that we need lone pair plus bond pair for hybridization and geometry we need all of these okay so first we will uh, be taking a certain compound uh, called uh, first i think i will be taking sf6 because there is no lone pair and what lone, lone pair plays a role in all of these we will also see that okay sf6 i will take and how will i find out the number of electrons here okay we have to take only uh, only the valence electrons that are present we know for sulfur it is 2 comma 8 comma 6 so for sulfur the valence electron is 6 for fluorine uh, we know that fluorine is 2 comma 7 that is why we will be taking 7 okay so 7 into 6 and total it comes as 6 plus 7 into 6 that is uh, 42 plus 6 that is 48 after this what you have to do 48 divided by 8 you have to divide it by 8 so here comes 6 there is no remainder if something comes as reminder you have to divide it by 2 okay you have to divide it by 2 whatever comes here is your bond pair and whatever comes here after dividing by 2 is your lone pair okay the lone pair concept i will all obviously define with the process but first you see here it comes uh, only six as a bond pair so if six is a bond pair then what will be the hybridization and what will be the geometry that we will also know okay for lp plus bp if we start with here then if the hybridization is sp lp plus bp is if lp plus bp is two then hybridization is sp geometry is linear okay then lp plus bp if 3 hybridization is sp2 okay then you have trigonal planar here you have as an example co2 linear structure okay co2 okay after this here comes 4 then sp3 trigonal planar you have bf3 okay for sp3 you have ch4 that is tetrahedral structure and there is another structure called dsp2 that we will be looking at also this is tetrahedral structure or we call it td structure this is called tetrahedral structure or we call it td structure okay there can be another formation like dsp2 okay that will be square planar which we you uh, which you don't require over here in d and f and coordination compounds we require that okay that we will study in detail over there okay dsp2 you can uh, ptcl4 2 minus this is square planar okay after that for 4 we have two type of compounds okay for four if the lone pair and bond pair is equal to four both after adding both if it comes four then this is the result after adding both if it comes three then this is the result okay hopefully you have understood up to here after that we have five if we add lone pair plus bond pair and we get five then you will have sp3d structure that is trigonal bipyramidal that looks like this pcl5 hopefully you have understood up to this you can pause the video and write it down and then again continue okay Hopefully you have understood up to this. I am erasing some part of it to explain some more of the hybridizations. Okay, then comes 6. If we add lone pair and bond pair, it comes 6. Then 
देन द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन विल बी एस पी थ्री डी टू ऑक्टा हेड्रल जियोमेट्री ऑक्टा हेड्रल जियोमेट्री विच वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ओ एस एफ सिक्स इज ऑफ्ट ऑक्टा हेड्रल यू सो दैट एस एफ सिक्स हैड लोन पेयर प्लस वॉन पेयर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड दैट विल बी ऑक्टा हेड्रल ओके आफ्टर दैट कम सेवन इफ बॉन्ड पेयर प्लस लोन पेयर और इफ सम समवेयर यू कैन फाइंड दैट हियर इन एस बी थ्री डी टू बॉन्ड पेयर इज सिक्स लोन पेयर इज जीरो दैट विल ऑल्सो डू ओके फॉर सेवन इफ द बॉन्ड पेयर प्लस लोन पेयर एंड द एडिशन रिजल्ट इज सेवन देन यू विल गेट एस पी थ्री डी थ्री दैट इज पेंटागोनल बाई पिरामिडल वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट पी बी पी पी बी पी that is if7 which looks like this which looks like this okay sf6 i have drawn already i have not drawn i think i will draw it here i did not draw it earlier i think yes i did not so octahedral geometry is like this hopefully you have understood this is octahedral this is pentagonal bipyramidal it is also called pbp okay and uh, for uh, pcl5 it is called trigonal uh, bipyramidal okay that is also called tbp that is tbp and this is pbp okay hopefully you have understood please pause the video and write it down then i will continue further okay see some of the some of the um, uh, hybridizations and geometry i have written in the chart then we will continue from there also that suppose if i have to find what is the hybridization and geometry of bf3 how will i find the valence electrons of boron are 3 2,3 is a valency yes according to normal according to normal valency which we are taught in class 9 and 10 you use that here because 1s2 2s2 that thing will be critical for you but if you want to use that you can use that okay so 3 is a valence electron over here and f is what f is sorry there are 3f so 3 into 7 okay so 3 plus 21 that is 24 you divide 24 by 8 3 comes as a quotient and there is no remainder so bond pair is 3 lone pair is 0 <laughs> so if the bond pair is 3 then uh, what the chart suggests is it has to be sp2 so sp2 is trigonal planar and it looks like this and here the here the planar structure ends after this comes sp3 and sp3 uh, onwards all the structures are not planar like tetrahedral is not planar okay but uh, dsp2 is a planar structure that is the that the, the name suggests that it is square planar okay but tetrahedral is not planar okay tetrahedral geometry is like this it is not planar one hydrogen is out of the plane okay maybe this one or this one one hydrogen is out of the plane up to sp sp and sp2 <coughs> sp and sp2 are planar but other uh, sp3 onwards they are not planar dsp2 is planar the name suggests it square planar okay uh, dsp2 structures we will study more in df block and coordination for class 12 okay okay so continuing this we will do some structures with lone pair now okay so what lone pair uh, what lone pair does to the structure is then the structure will not uh, be the same as uh, it is suggested suppose uh, for octahedral it is sp3 d2 it is octahedral okay so if there is a lone pair the structure may not be octahedral okay so i can take xc f5 plus so for plus what you have to take and for negative what you have to take i will say okay xc 
जेनॉन इज अ नोबेल गैस एंड यू विल आस्क मी दैट डू आई हैव टू नो द एटोमिक नंबर फॉर नोइंग द नंबर ऑफ वैलेंस इलेक् सो नाउ यू विल बी लुकिंग एट एक्स सी एफ फाइव प्लस ओके सो मेनी ऑफ यू आस्क दैट वेदर आई हैव टू नो द एटोमिक नंबर फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नंबर ऑफ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इयर ऑब्वियसली इट्स नो यू शुड नो सम मीन्स यू शुड नो द पीरियडिक टेबल बाई हार्ट आई वुड सजेस्ट फॉर अ ग्रेटर नॉलेज एंड फॉर अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट हियर फॉर पर्टिकुलरली दिस यू डोंट नीड टू एक्वायर द नॉलेज ऑफ एटोमिक नंबर्स बिकॉज इफ यू नो दैट विच ग्रुप इट बिलोंग्स टू देन यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस इज अ नोबेल गैस राइट नोबेल गैस विल ऑलवेज हैव एज एज अ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट सो आई विल टेक एट ओवर हियर ओके सो एट एंड फ्लोर इन एज फाइव सो इट हैज सेवन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टू फाइव सो आई हैव टू डू माइनस वन ओवर हियर बिकॉज दर इज अ प्लस बिकॉज देर इज अ प्लस ओके सो इफ देर इज अ माइनस यू हैव टू टेक प्लस वन इफ देर इज अ प्लस वॉट एवर इज द चार्ज सपोज द चार्ज इज प्लस टू आई हैव टू डू देर माइनस टू ओके इफ द चार्ज इज माइनस टू देन आई हैव टू डू प्लस टू वॉट एवर इज द चार्ज यू हैव टू एट द मैग्नीट्यूड बट यू हैव टू चेंज द साइन ओके Hopefully you've understood. Okay, then eight plus seven into five is thirty-five minus one. So thirty-five plus eight is forty-three minus one, forty-two. So we will divide it by eight as usual. Eight five is a forty minus two. You have to divide by two to find out the lone pair, and lone pair is one. So five bond pairs and lone pair is one. Total you have six. Six. in accordance to the chart is sp3d2 that should have been octahedral so we will see what is the geometry now so xc first of all i have to draw whatever geometry was to happen if it was without a lone pair okay so 5 f i have kept okay one lone pair is there i will keep it over here i will make a box over here and there is a plus charge okay so what i have to do while considering the shape now shape geometry it is sp3d the hybridization is sp3d2 okay according to that it should have been a o structure or octahedral structure but for considering geometry for this type of things where there is a lone pair present you have to first shield it by hand when you are considering geometry you cannot consider lone pair so this is what this is a square pyramid structure this is a square pyramid behind the pyramid there is a square structure you can see the box and this is a pyramid okay the structure is square pyramid and not not octahedral why due to the lone pair so whenever there is a lone pair the structure will not be according to the conventional methods this should have been octahedral octahedral structure but it is not it is square pyramid okay i hope you have understood then we will go to the next next sum okay next sum i will be taking is i3 minus it is i3 minus okay so i you know it is 7 because it belongs to the halogen group you don't have to know the atomic number 7 will be the valence electrons you know that okay so 7 into 3 plus 1 okay 21 plus 1 22 22 divided by 8 8 twos are 16 Minus six divided by two is three. So two bond pair and three lone pair. Two plus three is five. The conventional structure should have been trigonal bipyramidal. TBP should have been the structure. But here it will be not because there are three lone pairs. So I will draw the conventional structure first. Okay, there are three lone pairs here, and the thing over here is where to place the lone pairs okay so we have to always place the lone pairs in this type of structures we have to always in tbp structures we have to always place the lone pair in equatorial positions because these are all in 120 degrees these are all in 120 degrees and the repulsion over here is very less because three vectors when in 120 degree it is the value comes as zero okay so the repulsion over here is the minimum that is why you have to place the lone pairs over here so i i will keep here 
and there is a minus <coughs> so here i have drawn the structure of the tbp but here due to lone pair only this type of structure i will take so i3 minus we will always neglect the lone pairs i will take this this things only i will not look at the lone pairs while looking for the geometry so you can see this is a linear structure so i3 minus will always be a linear structure okay why i have added one i told you if there is a negative charge over here you will add whatever negative charge is there suppose there is two minus we will add then two minus plus two okay whatever is the charge you have to add that magnitude but reverse that sign <coughs> excuse me okay moving to the next one here comes sf4 you will see an interesting structure over here s is 6 and f is 7 7 into 4 okay 6 plus 28 is 34 34 Divided by eight, eight fours are thirty-two minus two divided by two is equal to one. So four is the bond pair, one is the lone pair. Okay, one is the lone pair. Four plus one five. This should have been also TBP if there was no lone pair present. But it will not be TBP. Why? I will let you know. Okay, first write the central metal atom. What is central metal atom? Which is Uh, least in number you you see over here how we will choose the central metal atom by normal common sense s is obviously lesser in number you have four fluorine but one s that is why you will write s in the middle okay i know how to write uh, tbp structure like this you have to first write okay then place the four okay f4 how will i place it you know one lone pair is present i will place it over here okay f f f when you consider the structure this is a seesaw structure if you see it looks like this because this you have to neglect this is a seesaw structure it is not it is not tbp but a seesaw structure okay and you have to always remember if you get any odd number as remainder then you have done something wrong because you cannot have 0.5 lone pairs you cannot have 1.5 lone pairs okay so hopefully you have understood all of this if you have any problem in this type of uh, things i have uh, made you understood uh, some covalent compounds with a positive charge some covalent compounds with a negative charge okay some covalent compounds with lone pairs okay this is a very important topic that you require to understand okay so hopefully you have understood all of this and uh, if you enjoyed this video please like and comment below if you want more types of this things solved for you because this uh, there are certain types of compounds that only comes for the exams so you if you require more videos on this topic please comment below and subscribe and like this video take care bye bye